Hi loves, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a very requested one. It's a get ready with me updated version. Grab your makeup stash, grab a little snack, grab some water, because it's good for you. And let's just get into this. I'll do this makeup if I'm like going out to dinner, have a special event to go to, if I'm taking pictures. I wouldn't say this is my everyday makeup because I don't do this every day. This is like a special occasion, getting beat, getting cute, feeling saucy type of makeup. So we're going to start off by priming. Um, I have a feeling my hair is going to go up in a pony by the end of this video. Of course, we're starting off with the Smashbox Primer Water. This is my favorite water in a primer. This is my holy grail. I've been using this for probably over two years now. I can't do my makeup without it. It's like me and her or best friends. So I always start off by spraying my face with this first before I go in with any like cream or like that type of primer just because this really sinks into your skin. It makes it feel a little bit more hydrated. It kind of just like preps myself for makeup and my skin. Um, as you can see, I do have like a new background. I went with more of like the professional. I want to get like a shelf to put like right here and then like have little like knickknacks. And then I want to get like a really nice plant for like this side. So you know, keeping it casual, keeping it cute, but we're keeping it saucy at the same time. One thing I definitely need to invest in is like one of those hand fans because I swear I'm going to have carpal tunnel in my wrists from going like this all the time. Loose pony so we don't get any crinkles. Cute. <laughs> so for a primer I have been loving this. I haven't stopped using this for probably a year now. I've tried other primers other than this one and I didn't like it. I didn't like that like my foundation was slipping off and I feel like this does a really good job of keeping your foundation on your face because that's what we want. <laughs> this is the Soap and Glory One Heck of a Blot Primer. It's very affordable. I got mine at Ulta for probably like 14 bucks. It's really affordable compared to some other bougie brands like Tatcha. Now, I wouldn't say it's like the best primer in the world, but I think it does a really good job for the price. And honestly, I'm just trying to use up my makeup that I have in my collection. And I still have this. And it's been probably a year. I mean, it's probably expired at this point, but I'm not throwing it out because I like it. I just apply this all over. I use my fingers to blend this in because I've tried a brush. Don't use a brush with this. It makes like streaks on your skin and then it like comes through your foundation. Moving on to foundations, I have been obsessed with four foundations. I go in between all four of them. It depends on my mood, what type of coverage I want, um, and also like I guess how long I want to have it on for because some of these don't last as long compared to others. So I'm just going to go through all four because I know you guys are going to ask anyway so I might as well just tell you. Duh. So the first one is the YSL All Hours Foundation. This is very expensive. Girl, I know. But I've had this for a really long time. I think it's worth every penny. It has sunscreen in it, so I wouldn't wear this if you're going out and you're going to be taking pictures with the girls, your friend group, you know what I mean? Because you're going to have that flash photography and it's just not going to look cute on your skin. So do not wear this if you're going out or if you're going out to dinner and you want to take a picture after. But it is 24 hour wear, it's a flawless matte, full coverage, and oil free. So this won't clog your pores because it doesn't have oil in it. And that's a really good thing. It's very full coverage, so if you have like cystic acne to cover up, this is your girl. And then the next is the Jouer Essential High Coverage Creme Foundation. She's bougie. Um, I've had this for a very long time as well, but this is supposed to help with acne. So this is as well very high coverage. It's matte and it's oil free and it has hyaluronic acid in it. I believe that is something that helps out with acne. So this is not going to cause acne. Um, this covers a lot as well. It covers my pimples, covers my little freckles that I want to cover up. This will cover everything. You, like you want to cover your eyebrows? Girl, cover your eyebrows with this. <laughs> It's a little more affordable than the YSL. And then moving on to Drugstore. Ooh, this one is looking ugly. This is the Maybelline Superstay Full Coverage Foundation up to 24 hour wear. This is high coverage, but it's not as high as those other two. It's very, very affordable. This is probably like $12. 
Um, this has been a holy grail for me for years. Ever since it came out, I have had this in like four different shades. I've gone through two of these. I keep buying it. I still love it. I just think this is a great foundation for like every day. And if you're going to go through it faster, it's more affordable. Because I do not wear these two foundations like every day. These are like my special occasion. Like I gotta look good foundations. You know what I mean? So this is definitely a very good one. This does not clog my pores either. I don't think this has oil in it, but I could be wrong. Oh, yeah. Oil-free, doesn't clog pores. Dermatologist tested. Seamless matte finish. Breathable and comfortable. Fade and transfer resistant um, and full coverage. So, yeah, you could definitely get this to, like, a light medium if you just use, like, half a pump. And you don't want to look like a cake face. It doesn't make you look cakey, but if you apply too much... And then if you're looking for more of something on the glowy, luminous side, I would go for the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow. This is so good to mix with foundations. This is literally my foundation mixer. I mix this with almost every foundation I wear. I can't just wear one foundation because I feel like if I'm wearing these alone, these are very matte. I used to have very oily skin, so I used to love all three of these, but now that I have more normal skin, I love mixing a glowy with a matte to get more of a like very natural finish. Um, I would not say that you can get full coverage with this. This is more of an everyday, not too glam type of foundation. So yeah, those are all four foundations that I've been obsessed with, minus the Thrive Cosmetics one. I mentioned that in my gym makeup, so if you want to see that in action, then go check that out. Today, I think I'm just going to keep it more affordable because I'm not sure how many people have these in their collection or how many people are interested in them. But if you want me to test these out in another video, I definitely can do that. Just let me know down below. I'm going to use the Maybelline Superstay and mix it with the L'Oreal. So I'll take like two pumps. And then this doesn't have a pump. It's just kind of like squirts. So I kind of try to make it even. And then I'll just go in with a sponge. This is just a real technique sponge. I usually coat the sponge with foundation and then just start pressing it into the skin. As you can see, like, just look at that section. It just evens out the skin tone, it covers, but it's so lightweight. So then I'll just go over my whole face without any extra product. And just make sure that it's all worked into the skin and there's no excess just sitting there. Moving on to concealer, I still love and adore the Tarte Shape Tape. This is still number one in my heart. She just can't leave me, you know what I mean? Like, she's just too good. So I pretty much just highlight the center of my face. I'll bring this out too, like as I'm blending out, just so it kind of lifts it. And notice if I don't do that, my face doesn't look as like structured. So I'm definitely highlighted in the center. I love the way this looks looking very good very flawless and then moving on to translucent powder so I always set right after I put my concealer on just so it doesn't crease because I crease so easily under here it's so annoying so I'm using the Laura Mercier flawless right no Laura Mercier translucent loose setting powder um, this is a real OG product. This has been around for so long, but it's so good. I try not to use a lot of powder because I realize that less is more when it comes to powder. Sometimes, like, I used to go overboard with the powder. I used to look so, 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 so cakey. It didn't look good at all. And I couldn't figure out why. Me being me. Okay, so my eyes are set, and then I'll take a little bit set my chin in my smile line. Next I'll go in with like the lightest amount on my cap. Take that on my sponge, kind of like tap it off and just lightly set like my cheek area. This ensures that the powders that you're going to add on top of this go on very smoothly and they're not like sticking to any of the foundation if it's still wet on your skin. So once all of that is set, I move on to my brows. And I always use the Anastasia Brow Wiz. I love this because it's super precise and I feel like they have my perfect shade so I don't want to switch. <laughs> um, so I'll first start off by brushing my hairs up. I'll basically just start like halfway towards the front like right here and just start lightly filling it in and then I'll like move on to the tail I don't know I kind of just like fill it in until the shape 
I like shows up, I guess. <laughs> I don't really know. Ugh, this like eyebrow pencil is too creamy right now. So it's like, oh boy. This is not a good brow day. But I'll take my concealer, that same Tarte Shape Tape, and just press a little bit on the back of my hand. And I'll take a very small little brush, like this guy right here. And then I'll use this to clean up my brows. And then if the front is looking a little bit too bold, like right here, I'll just take some of that excess concealer and just like brush it into my brow. So once my brows are all cleaned up, I'm going to move on to dusting off this powder. So I just take a big fluffy brush and kind of just like press it into my skin, like wipe it off. Just make sure that all the excess powder is off. Alright, my camera annoyingly just shut off like it always does. It's the most annoying thing ever, but I don't know where it cut off. So all I did was apply a blush on top of my cheeks right here in with my bronzer on my forehead and a little bit on my nose just to make sure that it blends in with my skin more just because I have more of a red tint going on and I use the Anastasia blush trio in peachy love and I use this center shade right here so it's a little bit more red I have a little bit more color to myself and then I set my face with the Smashbox primer water once I applied all those products so now we're gonna go into a highlighter I've been really loving these Becca highlighters again I don't know why I ever stopped using them they're just so good and they're so so blinding and pretty on the skin. I've been especially obsessed with the shade Opal. It's just so pretty. And I also have Champagne Pop. So I think I'm going to mix the two today. I'm going to use my Anastasia A23 highlighting brush as well. So I'm going to do like one in this, one in that. Tap off the excess. And then highlight away. Now use a really light hand when I highlight just because I feel like it makes it look a little bit more natural. And I use circular motions as well. And then I'm going to apply a little bit on my chin and my nose. And then I'll do a little bit under my brows. Right? And then if I feel like I went in with too of a heavy hand, I'll go in with like a big fluffy brush and just like blend it out. So now I'm just going to set my brows and I usually spike them upwards just because I like a fluffy brow now. And I'm using the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. I just feel like this gives a more uplifting look. And I like them to just be a little messy. You know what I mean? Like I don't like such a perfect brow anymore. I used to, but... I'm in the messy, fluffy brow days now. Oh, we're looking cute. We're looking cute. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I've been using this Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. I like it. Um, I don't think it's the best mascara out there. Um, it kind of dries out a little bit fast, I feel like. But, I mean, I'm just trying to use up all of my mascaras at the moment anyways. So I just go in and coat my eyelashes with this. My eyelashes are pretty long to begin with, so I don't feel the need to apply falsies. Um, some days I will, like on my graduation day, I applied falsies just because I wanted to look extra good. But like for dinner and stuff, I'll just do mascara. And then moving on to lips. This combo right here is like the best nude lip you will ever try. Ever. So I go in with the NYX lip liner in Nude Truffle first. It's a very nude color. And then I apply the Tardis Lip Pink Quick Dry in the shade Bestie on top. And oh my god, the lip liner is just a little bit darker so it gives that radiant effect that you have fuller, larger, more plump lips. And girl, I'm all about it. I love having big lips. I mean, they're not that big right now. But once I put on this lipstick, I always make sure that my lip liners are very sharp before I start using them. So I'll just use this like sharpener that I got from Ulta. Like, it just looks so good. I love using a lip liner, so definitely try it out. Last but not least, of course we're going to set this face. I just think setting sprays make your makeup look so much better. It brings it from, like, a 9 
to like a 20. I always go in with the Smashbox Primer Water just because this gets rid of all that powderiness and it adds some hydration. And then on top of that, I'm using the Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. This thing is so dope. It's like a continuous hairspray container. So don't like you don't have to pump. You just like spray it. It's very hydrating. I think this gives my face a nice glow to it, but it's not like overly dewy. It also makes your makeup last just a little bit longer. I mean, it's not as good as the All Nighter Spray. Don't get me wrong. That thing is legit like glue for your face. And you can just see how much more youthful and glowy and pretty my skin is looking. I absolutely love how my makeup turned out today. I hope you guys really enjoyed this little updated get ready with me. I'm just going to keep my hair in this pony because I think it looks really cute. Before you leave, it, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. And give it a big thumbs up for me. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye loves. I wish it turned out like this every single day because I either have a really good makeup day or a really shitty makeup day. And today, your girl's feeling herself. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm.